Over the past few decades, we've witnessed an explosion of both information and information technology, which has affected virtually every aspect of our lives. Not only do we have unprecedented access to information, but more individuals are producing and sharing knowledge than ever before. Imagine, more than 400 hours of video is uploaded to YouTube every minute. While this extraordinary access to information has and will continue to open amazing opportunities for us, effectively sifting through this information is an increasing challenge. And our ability to know what's worthy of our attention or important enough to share with others is often undermined by the very technologies that made the information accessible in the first place. It's fair to say that this is a unique problem historically, a one that requires a unique set of skills if one is to find, evaluate, and apply the information necessary to adequately address a problem or effectively perform a task. The competent integration of these skills has become known as information literacy, that is, the set of integrated abilities encompassing the reflective discovery of information, the understanding of how information is produced and valued, and the use of information in creating new knowledge and participating ethically in communities of learning. So let's take a quick look at the various skills that are needed if we are to consider ourselves information literate. The first skill is the ability to determine when and what kind of information is needed. This involves critical thinking and an active curiosity that, when faced with a problem, one is able to analyze the situation, ask critical questions, and identify the necessary information that is likely to address the problem. Next is the ability to access the necessary information. Knowing what to look for, how and where to search it out, and sort out what is relevant and what is not. Alongside of knowing how to access the information is the skill of evaluating it. Understanding issues of accuracy and credibility, identifying false appeals and faulty logic, spotting bias, and maintaining an awareness of the larger social, political, and economic contexts that often determine which perspectives dominate the conversation and which are marginalized. Information literacy isn't just about finding and evaluating relevant information. It also involves knowing what to do with that information once we've found it. That is, the ability to apply the information, initially through synthesis, the integrating of selected information into our own knowledge base, and followed by the use of that information to create new knowledge or accomplish a specific task. Finally, information literacy involves the ability to understand the issues at stake when it comes to using and sharing information. This is more than merely avoiding plagiarism through proper citation. It's about handling the information in a responsible and ethical manner. Why does information literacy matter? I think by now we've learned that accessibility is great, but it's not an end in itself. Look no further than the fast food industry to demonstrate this. For more than 50 years, the ubiquitous presence of fast food restaurants across North America has given us unparalleled access to cheap food. Today we see the unintended consequence of that access as the single biggest contributor to an ongoing obesity epidemic. And most of us have, in recent years, had to adapt to this ease of access by learning a new set of skills, from reading labels uh, to counting calories. In other words, we've acquired nutritional literacy as the only way to mitigate the negative consequences of this ease of access to affordable, plentiful food. Likewise, when it comes to finding and evaluating and sharing information, ease of access has made it impossible to avoid the noise and distortion inevitably produced in this glut of information. Teaching and modeling information literacy will help us to not only better manage the knowledge we acquire and create, but to protect and extend the access we have to it for a fairer and better informed world.